all right welcome everyone to my youtube channel okay so in this video we are going to see more examples on partial fractions you recall that we started partial fractions and we saw uh, some examples on the first type which discusses uh, partial fractions where the denominators contain linear factors and so here we saw this example so quickly let's look at these other examples here and this one is that we should uh, split this into its uh, partial fractions and we can see the denominator here is a quadratic equation and so they expect us to first of all uh, factorize this into its linear factor so we have x squared minus 3x plus 2 of course to factorize this we would have to look um, multiply our c by our a and that will give us 2 so we're looking for the two factors of 2 that will sum to get minus 3 and when we multiply we we'll get uh, positive 2 and those are minus 2 minus 1 so uh, you recall the easiest approach here is just to open our bracket we we'll have x minus 2 and then another x minus 1 and so that has given us the two linear factors we are looking for and so we can bring that here now so we recall that we said that if we have linear factors that we should and there are two of them we should equate them to you know two different uh, partial fractions where one will have a numerator of a a here is a constant it is a constant because we said that uh, remember this one will now be x minus 2 plus b all over x minus 1 so why is this supposed to be a constant because we said that for you to have um a rational function where you cannot divide it means that the 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 degree of the numerator must be less than the degree of the denominator okay so and in this case now that's why if you are separating this into its partial fractions it means that if the denominator here is a linear fact is a linear polynomial then the numerator has to be has a it has to have a degree that is less than the degree and the degree here is one and so the degree of the numerator must be zero which is a constant and that's why we have this so quickly let's now go on and so if we look for the lcm here which is the same x minus 2 x minus 1 and so if x minus 2 divides here we'll get x minus 1 and so we'll multiply this and then plus b if this one divides we'll get x minus 2 okay so at this point now uh, recall that uh, we don't need here so at this point our L, the denominator here is equal to denominator here so we cancel the two of them out and if we do that now we we'll have that the numerators are equivalent and that's going to give us that this is equivalent to uh, this plus b into x minus 2 and so now we will apply uh, our method of solving identical polynomials so at this point uh, we want to find a and to find a we will need to eliminate b and to eliminate b we will say that our x should be equal to 2 and so if our x is 2 here we are going to have 2 plus 13 which is 15 to be equal to if our x is 2 here 2 minus 1 is 1 1 times a will give us a and if we put our x as 2 here, we'll have 0. So therefore here, our a is equal to 15. And so to get our b, we need to eliminate a. And to eliminate a, all we need to do is to put here as 0. And to put here as 0, we are going to, to make the a to become 0, we are going to uh, put our x as 1. And so if that happens, if we put x as 1 here, we'll have 14 is equal to here will become zero and here will be one minus two which is minus one minus one times b will give us minus b therefore here our b alone will be equal to negative 14 and so it means that our fraction here when splitted which is x plus 13 all over x squared minus 3x plus 2 is going to be equal to our a which we are going to substitute here now is 15 all over x minus 2 then our b is minus 14 all over x minus 1 
and that's the required solution all right so to example four uh, sorry the next example we are given here to um you know split this into its partial fraction i remember we said in this case there are three linear denominators three linear factors as denominators so you are going to have three partial fractions and that's going to give us <coughs> a all over x plus one that will be plus plus b all over x minus one plus c all over x minus two okay and so at this point now we'll try to eliminate oh sorry um to find our identical polynomials and you remember that we usually would take lcm and when we do that then we strike out common lcm so if that is the case we will not need to you know take our time to do all of that so all we just need to do here is to recall that we will always get the numerator here to be equivalent to now you pick this the numerator you have here which is a multiplied by you know when you take lcm here now this is going to cancel itself and then you'll be left with the other two uh, denominators which is uh, x minus one x minus two and so then we now have plus b this one is going to strike out itself so you'll be left with x plus one x minus one and the same thing will happen here so here you are going to have c x plus one x minus one all right so and this is the equivalent uh, polynomial so we'll try to solve for a b and c and so using our method if we want to find a we need to eliminate b and c and so we'll look for a common linear factor in b and c which is x plus one x plus one so we are going to introduce something that is going to help us eliminate this b and c and that is letting x to be minus one and so let our x be minus one if that happens we put x as minus one here we'll have minus three plus two is now equal to this is going to give us a into if you put x as minus one here you're going to have minus two times if you put x as minus 1 here, we'll have minus 3. And then if you put x as minus 1 here, it will be 0. Here will be 0. And so we have, this means that we have, if this is added here, you will get a minus 1 is equal to, this is 6 times a, which is 6a. So that means that our a alone is equal to minus 1 all over 6. That's if you divide both sides by six here okay and now for the next one we want to eliminate a and the c and the common factor there is x minus one x minus one so we we'll let x here to be equal to one so if our x is one here so we are going to have uh, that's positive three plus two is equal to this is going to turn to zero and then uh, this is going to become b into 1 plus 1 here is 2 1 minus 1 here is uh, minus 1 and then over here we'll also get 0 and so that means that uh, we are going to have 5 is equal to minus 2b that if the whole of this multiplies and therefore our b alone will be 5 that's minus 5 all over 2 dividing both sides by negative 2 and so the next one here we work we, we want to find C so we eliminate a and B and to eliminate a and B the common factor here is X minus 2 and so we're going to let our X to be equal to positive 2 and if that happens we are going to get um, 6 plus 2 here and that will be equal to this will turn to zero this will turn to zero 
and then this is going to become c into 2 plus 1 is going to give us 3 and 2 minus 1 will give us 1 and so that means 8 is equal to 3c so which implies that our c alone is equal to 8 all over 3 dividing both sides by 3 here and so now we have gotten our a b and c so we'll simply come and make a substitution here and if we do that we are going to have our a is minus 1 over 6 all over x plus 1 all over x minus 2 so in that case it therefore means that our partial fraction is equal to so here now this denominator here that is in the numerator will come down so we're going to have minus 1 all over 6 into x plus 1 then minus 5 the 2 will come down so all over 2 into x minus 1 and then we'll now have plus 8 all over 3 into x minus 2 okay you can choose to keep the positive one first that's to write it first or you can still leave it this way and that is the solution or you can write it this way that is 8 all over 3 into x minus 2 minus 1 all over 6 into x plus 1 minus 5 all over 2 into x minus 1 so either of the two you can as well open this bracket that if you want and then that is our solution okay so um, this is the first type of uh, partial fraction and examples okay so uh, kindly subscribe to our youtube channel we'll see you in our next video bye